That was a very unusual melody. I honestly can't even quite tell what's happening here. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Christoph Jakob, I'm a music composer for video games and today let's check out another single player tune from Splatoon 3. Let's go! This entire piece of music sounds like something you would hear in a video game or movie that is about superheroes of some kind. Considering that it mostly plays in stages that focus on and around specials, especially the Zipcaster, I think having music that evokes the sense of heroism, pride and almost invincibility to spur you on while you blast through the stages feels quite natural. The tune starts with this almost a little over the top brass fanfare. Brass is the generic term for instruments like trumpets, trombones or horns, all of which are quite commonly used in association with fanfares. A fanfare, by definition, is a short ceremonial tune or flourish played by brass instruments typically to introduce something or someone important. We all know this convention from movies where when a king for example enters a room that you hear these trumpet fanfares playing. But who's the important person in the context of Splatoon here? That's you. Me? Yes, you. Oh, thank you. It's because you're holding the camera. Very rhythmically interesting tune. <laughs> nice timpani. The first section sounds a little like the intro to a TV show to me, or something in a theater that plays until the actors are finally introduced. I love these little claps you can hear before a melody comes in for the first time. Those quirky orchestral hits. I instantly recognized a little element that I've already talked about in my analysis video of King Salmonid. I'm gonna link that here somewhere. Which is a very common technique called call and response. Take a close listen to these orchestral hits again and try to find out what's happening afterwards. Fanfare again. As you could probably hear, the timpani is pretty much trying to imitate these orchestral hits, which is a really cool little detail. It sounds like the timpani, you know, a, a drum, is playing the main melody at this point. Another little detail that I noticed is that low string instrument that just keeps repeating over and over and over. Pretty much ignoring the currently underlying chords, which leads to some really interesting sounds here and there. Here comes a melody. Sounded like ta da! It sounds so goofy. That was a very unusual melody. I honestly can't even quite tell what's happening here. <laughs> Oftentimes, if you're trying to figure out a tune by ear, the bass can give you some pretty easy clues about the underlying chords. It does give you some clues here as well, but since it's just repeating the same three notes over and over, regardless of what the other instruments are doing, it's not quite easy to tell. The 
The tune appears to alternate between Mixolydian and Lydian chords. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what exactly that is, but simply put, they are variations of the major scale. You know, a scale, a group of notes that make up a key where one note has been changed intentionally. Every scale consists of seven different notes. A major scale, for example, sounds like this. Now, the same thing, but in Mixolydian, would sound like this. And the same thing in Lydian would sound like this. There's also a combination of these two scales, which is called Lydian Dominant, which I think also appears in this tune. Both Mixolydian and Lydian are known to sound very quirky, if not silly or just plain stupid. <laughs> this climax section here... sounds triumphant overall, but also incredibly stupid. I love how Splatoon music always manages to keep a sense of lightheartedness and quirkiness, regardless of the actual context where the music is playing. Once again, the music keeps alternating between different Lydian chords. As heroic as it may sound at first, I think it actually sounds really ridiculous and well, silly. That is further emphasized by the tenor voice that appears in the second half of this climax section. Which, by the way, if you own Omnisphere, it's a preset in there. So nice. <laughs> the final part honestly reminds me a lot of something you would hear in a Spongebob or Simpsons game or something like that. And especially Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, in case anyone watching this video knows about this video game, which has these constant hey samples that are cheering you on while you try to make your way through these different stages. I think stuff like that is just really cool. Whether it's subtle or in your face, it's just really cool. This entire tune was a brilliant parody of a fanfare and of this superhero stereotype. That was awesome. Thank you so much for watching. For more videos like this, you can click here. If you'd like to listen to my own little Splatoon album, you can click here. And here's the Revita soundtrack, which actually has a chance to be nominated and potentially win a Grammy this year, which is just insane. See you next time.